Hey guys! Yeah, 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 mm-hmm, calm down, I know. I'm doing the most right now, I'm like doing everything. I'm doing bold, fierce, wavy hair, I'm doing bold lips, I'm doing a cut crease, I'm doing glitter eyeliner, I'm just doing the most. I'm doing everything right now, everything that there is to do, that's what I'm doing. But you know, oh, in cleavage? No, seriously. I'm doing everything, but I actually really like this intense look. It's something different, it's it's bold, it's in your face, and I wanted to share it with you guys. If you want to see the tutorial for this look, stay tuned and keep a lookout for the hair tutorial because I know people are asking how I did this with my craziness, but yeah, stay tuned for the tutorial and I'll talk to you soon. So here's an up-close view of the look we're going for. So let's get right into it. I already filled in my eyebrows and now I'm going in with a primer to help prevent my eyeshadows from creasing and this is the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. I'm just applying that all over my lids up to my brow. Next, instead of using a base, I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and Brightener Duo and just applying that to my lids. I apply just a dot of the brightener to my inner tear duct and concealer to the rest of my lid. And in case you're wondering, this is in the shade Deep and Nude Radiance. Blending that in with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush just to get an even application. Then go ahead and blend it in with your fingers as well because the warmth of your finger will help to blend this in even further. Next I'm going in with a matte skin tone shade and this is from MAC. It's called Wild by Nature and it's from their Leopard Luxe palette. And I'm going to apply that with a NARS number no. 3 brush and I'm just applying that all over my lid just to set that concealer in place as well as give me just a nice even canvas to work with. Next I'm going to go ahead and create my cut crease shape using this NARS eye paint in Transvaal. And it's a nice deep slate gray color and I'm applying that with a waterline liner from Sigma. This is the E17 waterline liner brush and it's very precise so it will help us create that very sharp shape. And I'm going to blend out the edges with my MAC 242 eyeshader brush which also has a very defined shape so it will help us blend out that color and keep that sharp defined outline. So just blend out the edges. I'm using flicking kind of feathery motions to blend out that color while still maintaining that cut crease. Now to further blend out that shape, I'm grabbing Illamasqua Drama Eyeshadow, which is a matte dark gray color. And I'm filling out the crease with this color on my MAC 242 again so we can maintain that shape. So I'm just doing tapping motions to get that color in place. Then I'm going to grab a small blending brush from Hakuhodo. This is the J5529. And I'm just blending out the edges with windshield wiper motions and circular motions just to get that color faded out onto the brow bone so it's not a harsh line. So I'm blending that out as much as I can first. Then I'm grabbing Feline Eyeshadow from Elamasca as well, which is a light gray shade. And now I'm going at the very edges of that cut crease with this color and the same small blending brush and this is going to help to further blend out the edges of that darker gray that we have down by using a lighter gray transition color. So just blend that back and forth windshield wiper motions again and circular motions just to get that nice and faded effect. Then for the highlight, I'm grabbing a little bit of Well Rested All Over Face Color from Bare Minerals and applying that with a large shader brush from MAC. This is the MAC 252. I'm applying that just onto my brow and blending it downwards. I'm going in with a little bit more of the Drama Eyeshadow from Illamasqua on that 242 brush just to deepen up the actual cut crease. So I'm staying in that shape, but I'm trying to intensify and darken just the base of the cut crease so it's more intense. Then I'm going back in with the blending brush and just going back and forth so we can get a nice blend. Now let's move on to the upper lash line. I'm gonna do a small wing with my L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. This is definitely a great eyeliner, something for you to check out. 
it has a nice tapered felt tip which is great for creating an effortless upper lash line liner now for the fun sparkly blue glitter I'm using blue glitter actually from MAC it's actually called blue I don't think this is one of their permanent colors this I actually picked up at a cosmetics company outlet it's a nice bright blue glitter so just any blue glitter that you have in your collection I'm applying this with the Stila liquid eye primer and my Laura Mercier fine point eyeliner brush this brush is really fine so it will allow us to apply that glitter without going outside the line and the liquid primer helps us put that glitter down and make sure that it stays in place so just pack that glitter on to the desired intensity till you get the desired opacity that you want one key is to let that glitter sit for a little bit then apply a second layer and that will build up the intensity while not disturbing the other layer that's underneath so let it dry first and then add another layer I'm going to go ahead and clean up that outer wing shape just a little bit with a q-tip wet with makeup remover so just go ahead and make sure that line is super crisp another tip for getting rid of glitter on your face is to grab a piece of scotch tape and just go over the glitter and pull it off your face and that's a super easy way to get glitter off your face now for my lower lash line I'm gonna use Petrol Blue Pearl Glide Eyeliner from MAC and it's just a dark blue shade with shimmer so I'm just applying that to my lower lash line and then blend it out with that E17 Waterline Liner from Sigma for my lower waterline, I'm just using L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliner and my E05 Liner Brush from Sigma. For my mascara, I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex. And remember to apply to your upper and lower lashes. For my lashes, I'm using Eyelore Naturalites and this is in Style 100, which are the super full version of these lashes. And these are actually some of my favorite lashes. So here go the eyes completely done. So let's move on to the lips. Alright guys, so yeah, you see these lips. This is what we're going to do. So let me show you just how I accomplished these bright blue fierce lips. Okay, Smurf realness all day serving it. Yeah, let's just, let's just, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to grab is this Sleek Makeup Pout Paint in Pika Blue. Yeah, what a cute name. So I'm grabbing this pout paint, which is like a lip tar from OCC. It's a similar concept, cheaper price. And I'm going to grab a blue pigment also. This is Mystique Pigment from Magnolia Makeup. This is just a darker, vibrant blue. And I'm going to mix it in with this pout paint to get a little darker, more, you know, va va voom. Yeah, if blue can be any more va va voom. And I'm going to just mix it together on a little palette. This is one of those Stila palettes. And um, I'm using my 3N Makeup Forever brush just to mix it together and apply this to my lips. Now I'm trying to apply this to get the fullest pigmentation. So I'm going to layer it. I'm going to apply it, then layer some more on. And then to outline everything to bring it together because we do need a crisp line, especially with this blue. So I'm going to use my Indigo Eye Pencil. Indigo Eye Pencil from MAC to just outline and fill it in. And this is a dark blue pencil, so just fill it in and make it pop. So that's the lips. That's how I accomplish this. Yes, so there you go. Let's move on to the rest of the face. Now for the cheeks, I want to do kind of a pop of Carly color. So I'm going to use Exuma's Matte Multiple from NARS. This is one of their new matte multiples. And it looks like that. And I'm actually going to stipple this on with a A-Design flat top foundation brush. It's just a small foundation brush. And I'm going to stipple that onto my cheeks and blend it in so it's not such an intense, bold pop of orange. And there is absolutely no way you can pull this look off without some contour. So I'm using my Sculpted Face Kit from IT Cosmetics. 
And I'm using this medium caramel shade right here, it's at the bottom, and my angled kabuki brush from Sigma. And I'm going to apply this to the hollows of my cheeks to give my face some dimension, and also to the temples um, of my forehead so I can pull this look together without looking too washed out, because these bold lips and these bold eyes can kind of wash you out, so you definitely want to add dimension to your face. Then for the highlight, I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Illuminizer and it's just a light kind of translucent highlight color and I'm applying that with a Hakuhodo J5547 brush and just applying it to the tops of my cheeks in my forehead. Now with any light highlight product in darker skin, things can get kind of ashy. So I suggest you get a beauty blender sponge or any other kind of dupe that you can find that you're comfortable with. But I suggest a beauty blender just because it really works. Grab this, dampen it, and blend out the highlighted areas so it doesn't look as harsh. So you see now, you see the glow, you see the highlight, but it's not as intense. So this will save your makeup a life. Your life, this, your... <laughs> You're not listening to me, you need this. Blend out the highlight, people, blend. Don't let it overtake your face, all right? So there you go, guys. That's the completed look. It's bold, it's intense, it's different, it's blue, it's smurfalicious. Yeah, good times. I actually really like this look, and it's fairest because I have my fairest hair going on, and y'all didn't think I could bring the fairest, did you? Y'all didn't think I could have ton it up and make it well bashy. No, bashy? Oh, mm, when was the last time somebody used bashy? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. As usual, links are going to be below to my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Instagram account where I actually post looks before I act they go up on YouTube. So if you want to check me out there, definitely go ahead and also hit the subscribe button. Hello! Where? On a, on, hello! On a, no one see other videos? Y'all want to see more, so hit subscribe, favorite, and share with your friends. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!